11 minutes past nine right now. Welcome our guest, Vince McConnell, author of this book, Invincible Abs, and uh, his brother, Pitch McConnell, also here to, uh, to help us demonstrate some of the things that you can do to get abs just like me. Well, maybe you don't want my abs, but maybe abs like, uh, like Vince here. Welcome, gentlemen. We appreciate you. <laughs> uh, you're going to show uh, off. You're going to show uh, off, don't you? Uh, you got me on the show. <laughs> This is, uh, this is great, and I, I did want to ask you, and I know we're, we're going to show uh, a couple of other things, but how did you come up with uh, uh, the, the combination of things in this book? And you're getting, you're getting rave reviews. I, I'm, I'm going to hold the book still. How about that? Uh, we're getting rave reviews on the book already. Yeah. Well, 22 years of being in the business, the number one question I get asked is, I'm happy with every other part of my body except my midsection. And I got to the point where I said, okay, I've got to write this down because the information that I was giving people they weren't following. So I think when it's in a book form, simple to follow, it's something right there, and you're either going to do it or you're not going to do right, it then. Right. You know, either, I mean, when you when you tell somebody what to do, you know, it can either go right in one ear, right out the other, exactly. but when it's in black and white, and it's, I go to the trouble to put it into a book form. So it was inspired by the people that I work with directly, but obviously it's... Like me, Bill. And you've had, I was going to say, he was, he was, he was, he was, I was motivated by him. He looked like, he was like the typical businessman, yeah. and um, he had gained, he was up to like almost a 35 inch, 35 inch waist, really? believe it or not. You were getting, yeah. and you were getting the gut there. Forward, I, I, had, I had a gut, I had handles, people had love for him, but I didn't. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we, we've, got, we've got pictures actually. So. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait sure. to see this. Uh, yeah. Before and after pictures, I think. Uh, these are the untouched. Pictures. These are untouched. Ooh. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't oh, give Bill, oh, yeah. didn't I, give Mr. Big Belly on purpose. I didn't know we were doing the before, the after is okay. The after is okay. Well, let's take, now look at that. Yeah, that, that, uh, those are legitimate photographs, and man, I tell you, I could not be more proud of him. And and I'm biased. I mean, I would love to, you know, make it even more difficult on him. And you know, what well, he did. I just want to go on months. record and say that I hated everybody that did before and after pictures until I actually did it. And I started it about five times and never finished. And Vince wrote the book. He said. You know, this time, it's, try it. It's simple. It's 11 steps. Do it. It's a lifestyle. It's uh -huh. not a big workout thing. And uh, to change has really made my life. My daughter. That was a question I was going to ask. How difficult was it? Did you, did you it, it, it see a lot of It wasn't difficult exercise? because it, it, it got easier as it went on, Bill. So Vince's book is so simple. It's so easy. And I think the inspiration in it is, is you can do this. And it's more about you and not some fancy right. piece of machinery or, or anything else. Well, now, I know that there are some exercises. I want to get you to demonstrate a couple of the things that people should know. And while we're doing that, talk to me, Vince, a little bit about outside the gym. Because that's yeah. what's really important. You know, and ultimately, I mean, you know, everybody thinks it's about about what you do in the gym and it's like I say the you know music is made up of the space between the notes yeah and I even mentioned that in the book mm -hmm. that you know body composition improvement is made up between the workouts we got a short time left show us a Let's couple go. of the basic what ideas gonna, we need to know what we're going to start with is a, is a, the is a um, Swiss ball sit up which basically everybody is familiar with now because we're using the ball so that your body wraps around the ball so you're getting a full range of motion here as opposed to doing it on the floor right. and it conforms to the small of your back. Now you notice that Mitch is coming down, getting a stretch at the beginning of the exercise, keeping his chin tucked so we're not putting any undue stress on the neck. And then he's coming up with the strength of the abdominals. He's not yanking his head, using momentum to get to the top. Remember, the point is not to get from point A to point B. It's how you get from point A to point B. Right, okay. So he's contracting right here. Now, we want to increase. feel so good. Now, if we want to increase. <laughs> just kidding, Bill. Now, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch is advanced. We got to give him that much credit here. We get the point now, with this ball. Be this, this, is, this, is, this is the ad resistance. Mm -hmm. If somebody says, well, that's too easy. I'm doing 100 sit-ups. What wow. he's doing here is he's going into a rotation and then also extend the ball up and then he's coming back into the eccentric phase here. That's so we're also getting the rotational go. component because remember the midsection doesn't just function linearly front and back. You've got to go rotation sides, and you're working your obliques here. A lot of what what everybody calls the love handles. You're taking care of that. Now there's no such thing as spot reduction. So follow what's do the in, whole thing. Follow what's in the book. Apply these exercises on a consistent basis. And remember, it's what you do over a consistent period of time. The secrets are in the book, gentlemen. I'm sorry we're out of time, but uh, you want to find out more. 